Hey guys. Hey, so uh, so I'm James Ritzman. Uh, so I've been a member of Port Lug since 2016, and uh, we're here at the Providence Festival of Trees. Uh, I was really happy to be able to debut a build that I've been incubating and working on for quite some time, and that is the bobsleds. So the bobsleds is. Um, Normally, these are known as Matterhorn-style rides, uh, if you, particularly if you're on the East Coast to Midwest, you'll typically see them themed as a Matterhorn, bobsled, alpine type of ride. And then mostly here on the West Coast, the ones that I've seen will have kind of a rock and roll theme to it. Uh, the build itself is, <clears throat> or I should say the mechanism itself is not completely original. Uh, so this is, uh, there's a, a, a site called Brick Rides that uh, I use the core mechanism for to be able to, to, to make the the, the, the mechanism, I said I used their instructions that were purchased to make the mechanism. Uh, but as far as the theming and the um, everything else around it, all completely original. Uh, as you can see up here up top, I was uh, uh, inspired by the recent Harry Potter and Hermione Granger uh, maxi figs that came out in that in that one set. Uh, to, so I, I basically built the the Yeti from the collectible minifig series and uh, called it uh, the, the bobsleds. So I uh, learned a lot of things about this build. Uh, so first off, a uh, couple things, especially when you're doing mechanical builds, um, you know, it, it runs, which I'm really happy about. It's not, uh, not perfect. So I have found using a large power functions motor, there is a lot of load on on the, on the assembly. And so after eh, about 30 seconds or so, uh, the, the, these these motors have a shut off in them when they are have too much resistance. And so the shut off will shut the motor off, obviously. So this will go back, not quite to the drawing board, just needs some refinement to be able to get it to move consistently. But uh, it, it does run, I'm really happy about that. And then if you've ever been on this type of ride, you probably also know that usually it'll do a, a forward sequence and then come to a stop and then uh, they send it all backward. So uh, these were some of my favorite rides as a kid. Uh, so I grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area and I just remember the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, they had uh, the, the rock and roll coaster. And so it's kind of a coaster style ride, but uh, with this marquee up over the top, the entire building was themed after you know 1960s, 1950s rock and roll that had big gaudy airbrushed paintings of you know Elvis and Buddy Holly here on the on the back surround and uh, just loved that ride as a kid it was so fun and then the 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 thing I remember most about is you get into the ride and then uh, usually two people sitting side by side and it's like okay who's going to get smushed uh I, you know as you start getting hitting that centrifugal force that goes around so oh something else that I would call out that I think is for builders that are first learning about mills, uh, there's the modular integrating in modular integrated landscaping system. Uh, mills is man, I I, will, I will, can't go back. So mills is basically a sandwiched plate, uh, series of plates and bricks uh, that give you a nice firm um, foundation for your builds. So that's what this is built on, and it's uh, according to the standard. So we can plug it into another layout uh, very easily. Oh, that's a great question. So um, this is something I, I, I so I'm a, I'm a really particular, I, I keep, I don't want to say I'm a slow builder, but I am a, um, uh, uh, I'm a very deliberate builder. So I will go in and maybe spend 15, 20 minutes at a time. And sometimes it'll just be about the placement of, you know, a certain piece of it. So this has been on my work table for the better part of a year. I started getting really serious about completing it about two weeks ago. So I'd say maybe uh, probably 1,200, 1,300 parts total. But yeah, and then once the, um, I was trying to really figure out how I wanted to theme it. And then once I landed on the Matterhorn bobsled type of theme, I would say it just all started just kind of, kind of came like a wave. I just, everything just kind of fell into place. Yeah, you bet, Dave.